This is an overview about how conditional statements work. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about if statements, and my examples will be using Unity with C Sharp. So the basic if-else statement structure looks like this. So we've got the word if, and we put the condition we want to check inside the parentheses. So it's going to evaluate if whatever we put in there is true or false. If the condition we put here is true, it's going to do whatever's inside the first curly brace. Else, it'll do whatever's in the second curly brace. So, um, for instance, we could check to see if somebody is um, 18 and is old enough to vote. So then we could check if they were 18 or older, they can vote, else they need to wait. So let's jump over to um, Unity and um, just have do that as a demo. So I already have, did I assign my script? I made a script game object. I just made an empty bit game object, named it script. I made a C sharp file and I'm dragging it here so that it'll run. And let's go ahead and look at the C sharp script. So let's say I want to just do that example um, and I'm gonna have a variable called age. And I think I'll just initially set it to, um, I'll say they're 19, let's say. And then in start, I'm just going to go ahead and put my um, if statement. So if um, uh, age is greater than or equal to 18, which would be the voting age here, then um, I'm going to output to the console and if I want to have a message if they are not yet 18, I can add the else. And in this case, I don't put a parentheses. I just do the curly braces and then give the second message. Okay. So let's try that, verify that this is working. I'm just going to jump over back into Unity here. And if I hit play and go to the console, it says you can vote. And I'm going to go ahead and hide these additional um, lines. I'm just changing my log entry to one line so it just shows me my, my message and not the timestamp and stuff. So it says you can vote. And if I look at my script, that's because age was 19. And if it was 18 or older, I could vote. OK, and so this would also be if I was, let's say I say I'm 10, it would then say you are not old enough. Now, if I change this to 18, it says you can vote, which is great. But what if I wanted a third option? I want to say, like, 18, this is your first year you can vote. So then we would use um, an additional else if in our statement. So instead of just if the condition goes here else, we can add and else if. And in fact, you could add a bunch of them. So in this case, we have our normal if, and the first condition we like to check goes up top. And if that's true, the first thing would run. If this is not true, it'll go to here and say else if, and it'll check a second condition. And if that's true, this section will run. Otherwise, if neither one of these is true, it'll run this final section. So this is kind of the de default. So let's go back to Unity. I have a different one open, I guess. Let's go here. All right, so what I can do is add an else if. And with else ifs, I do need the parentheses. I'll put my condition in there, and then I need another set of curly braces. So notice it's giving me an error because I need to put a statement in there. So let's say if they are older than 18, it'll say you can vote. But if age is exactly 18, you use the double equals to say equals. Let's say your first year to vote. 
And if they're not greater than 18 and they're not exactly 18, it'll say you're not old enough. So let's try that out. I'm gonna save it and go back to Unity and let's check this out. So I'm gonna hit play. And now it says, you are 18, your first year to vote. And it's still being 18 because I changed it in the inspector. If I, let's say change it to 21. Oops, I need to hit stop first, 21. Then it'll say you can vote. And if it's, uh, let's say I'm only two, you are not old enough. So you can do multiple um, conditions within an if, else if, else statement. So something also to be aware of, um, sometimes I see people put parentheses after the else, and that's going to give you an error also. So if I said, you know, like age is less than four or something like that, and it's going to give you an error because else's do not have a condition. That's just a default. It will just run. So you can do more than one else if, if you'd like. You're not stuck with just one. So you can do multiple conditions. Um, it evaluates the first one, and if it hits one that's that's um, true, it'll then jump out and continue on with the program. It won't keep doing additional ones. So let's say um, I'm going to add one more else if in here. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that there. And um, let's say I'm going to change this to greater than 18, and I'm going to copy this down there too. So let's say up here I want to check and see if somebody is older than 50. I can say you you've had many opportunities to vote. So if they're greater than 50, you've had many opportunities to vote. If it's not greater than 50, it'll go to see if it's larger than 18. So let's say I was 49. This would be false. It would check this, but 49 is greater than 18, and it would say you can vote. And it'll just continue on. But notice I have multiple else ifs. So let's check that in Unity, prove that that's working. So back to it's still age 2. You're not old enough. Let's say somebody is 70. It says you've had many opportunities to vote. But now, once again, let's use my example. What if I say 49? Now it says you can vote. So back to that, it just does the next one in line. If this one's not true, checks the next one. When it finds one that is true, it does what's inside the parentheses and then jumps out of the if statement.